came first, the egg or the chicken? Well, in this story, the egg comes first. Boiled, scrambled, poached, pickled, fried or sunny side up, eggs are a popular, versatile and affordable whole food option that pack a high quality protein punch. 2019 data from the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization shows that Kenya produces 1.6 billion eggs per year and has an annual per capita consumption of 45 eggs. Kenyans clearly love eggs, but the cost is currently leaving a bad taste in their mouths. An egg now retails for up to 20 shillings from just 12 bob a couple of years back. Mayai Pasua, a popular Kenyan street food option, now costs 30 shillings up from 20 bob. Let's break down what's cooking. Kenyan poultry farmers, ravaged by the ever-rising cost of animal feeds and the escalating fuel costs, are scaling down production or shutting down altogether. Case in point, Kakamega County, one of the biggest egg producers in the country, produces slightly more than 35 million eggs per year, which is only 20.5% of an annual country demand of 170 million eggs. To bridge the deficit and to stabilize prices, Kenya now is a mega importer of eggs. The Observatory of Economic Complexity, a data visualization site domiciled at the MIT Media Lab reports that in 2021, Kenya imported eggs worth a whopping $2.61 million. OEC indicates that Kenya imported eggs primarily from Turkey, which accounted for $2.05 million, or 78.6% of Kenya's egg imports. Incidentally, Turkey's largest fully integrated egg production facility, the Gures Group, produces 1.5 billion eggs annually, which is almost Kenya's entire egg production. Tanzania, United Arab Emirates, Zambia and the United Kingdom are also listed by OEC as countries that import eggs into Kenya. Interestingly, Uganda does not get a mention despite word on the street being that it is eggs from across the Ugandan border that flood the Kenyan market. Kenya and Uganda routinely engage in trade spats over agricultural products with balance of trade on food routinely swinging Uganda's way. Whether it is Turkish eggs or Ugandan eggs flying in, the crux of the matter is, as long as producing eggs in Kenya remains exorbitant due to high feed prices and high fuel costs, then imports will continue ruling the roost. And with the shilling steadily losing value, Mayai Pasua at 50 bob may just be a distinct possibility. While Ugali Mayai may soon be priced out of the reach of many. At which point, the chickens will really have come home to roost for Kenya's featherlight food policies. Yeah.